Welcome back. This is still Why in the Morning. Today is all about the Thursday vibes. And now it is that time we are taking you to the innovators, uh, to the technology segment. Well, today we have someone special for you. You know, uh, we have our own innovators and we want to embrace them because they have such uh, great talent and we believe that they're going to be the next, you know, Elon Musk. So uh, do you remember about uh, the old telephone booths? Well, if you do, then we have something similar, a similar concept today, but that's a Wi-Fi vending machine. And we have Bosco Somi for that. But before we get into uh, this conversation, we want to ask you a question today. Leo Vanyini Thursday vibes. Nikitu gani uki achieve utajua kweli umemake it? That's the question we are asking you. So talk to us at Y254 channel that is on Facebook, on Instagram and uh, Twitter. So tell us uh, what is that one thing when you achieve, you know that you have made it. I am good. The hashtag is Thursday Vibes. My personal handle is at Stephanie Ayeta if you want to reach me. So now let's get into the conversation. Bosco. Yes. Karibu. Thank you very much. We are glad to have you. I'm humble. I'm happy to be here. All right. You. So you are an innovator. You are the founder and director of Sky Digitals. Yes, I am. So tell us a bit about Sky Digitals. Well, um, Sky Digitals was established in the year 2017 with mm -hmm. aim of empowering youths or enabling youths, mm -hmm. uh, PWDs, um, and the larger vulnerable community members uh, to be self-employed through innovation. Mm -hmm. I, I sat down for the longest time. I realized that um, we don't have... People really don't um, um, sit down to explore the opportunities or the talents that they have, all right? And, um, and this came to me after I'd lost my job, my job some time back. Mm -hmm. So um, it, became, it was a bit of a challenge getting to where I am now. Mm -hmm. um, but with persistence and perseverance, I made it to where I am. And so far, the few youths who've been able to adapt the innovation actually are self-employed. All right, we'll yes. get into, you know, uh, those that have benefited from this particular innovation. Sure. But we want to know, do you have a background in, you know, tech, IT, before you started this innovation? Yeah, yes, I, I, I do. Um, mm -hmm. Previously, I was employed in a different organization for over 10 years. And um, mm -hmm. I was um, in sales and marketing. Okay. Um, I was a national sales coordinator. Then I became a regional sales manager, mm -hmm. East Africa. And then after I lost my job, um, life became difficult. But for mm -hmm. the longest time, I had passion for tech. Oh, so it's the passion that it's you It's the had. passion that drove me to into this industry. Mm -hmm. So I decided to, you know what, empower myself with more knowledge about tech. Okay. And be able to come up with something so, unique. Mm -hmm. yes. So uh, the knowledge that you empowered yourself with, how did you get it? Was it self-taught? Uh, online? Did you go to school? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You have to kind of go to school for that, you know. Huh. And uh, your creativity is very key um, because this is not the only solution that I came up with. Some have flopped badly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we want to know about those failures about, no, because <laughs> <laughs> because you know some people to no longer we make it, and then we feel like ah. This thing, ikona uh, wenyewe, but you don't know the process, the you know the journey behind it. Yeah. Yeah. So we want to know about the failure after you tell us about the journey, uh, you know, from inception, how you came about with this uh, particular technology. All right. So um, as I said, uh, the concept actually the concept came to me in 2016, mm -hmm. and then I started, you know, trying to figure out how it can work. Mm -hmm. So in the process, I was still studying, trying to also gain the knowledge that I could gain. Uh, online. I uh, remember I'd lost my job in the process. So, so you life... lost your job in 2016? No, no, no. I lost my job in 2014. 14? Yes. So two years without a job? Two years without a job. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a breadwinner. All right. Um, I have bills to take care of. Mm -hmm. uh, life is just bad. Hard. Yes. And it came from up to down, like south, really, really south. <laughs> you go to rock bottom. Rock bottom. Uh -huh. And uh, in the process of all this, um, you know, being the breadwinner, by the end of the day, you the society still looks at you like you need to provide for your family. There's no excuse about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, I struggled hard uh, the best way I could. Nobody could employ me anymore simply because anywhere I went to look for employment, they kept on telling me you're overqualified. Wow. Okay, I don't so know being how, overqualified I, is another problem. It's a huge problem for a lot of people because uh -huh. how do you unqualify yourself? Wow. You can't. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You know? uh -huh. So I realized clearly, I don't think someone, anyone will ever employ me. 
So mm -hmm. I decided to figure out what I can do to build mm -hmm. myself and build my family. So in the process, I, I had um, me as an individual mm -hmm. in mind at that point. Then later on, I sat and said, no, wait a minute. When I was employed, I used to support a lot of people. The same people still come back to me. Okay? And the same brothers and sisters that I was supporting in different capacities, we have this, uh, uh, the same problem they're facing is the same problem all the youths face across the country and in Africa. It, it's a mm -hmm. common problem. Mm -hmm. So um, I decided Which is lack of employment. Unemployment. All unemployment, right. yes. Mm -hmm. Unemployment, okay? So, um, I mean, like, I love what the government is doing and I support them 100%, but not everyone is cut out for white collar jobs. All right? True. The mm -hmm. universities we have produce brilliant brains. Mm -hmm. We have over 50,000 people who graduate every other year, if I'm not wrong. But after that, what do you do? You end okay. up uh, doing uh, other shady jobs, which you're not cut out for. You know? mm -hmm. I think that's why CBC has been introduced to help, you know, uh, to empower us to believe, you know, to empower the young ones the to young believe ones. that they can actually start their own, uh, you know, opportunities, sure. create their own employment sure, and everything. Sure, sure, sure. All right. Uh -huh. So um, in the process, um, I started building the machines and uh, it became a bit uh, a challenge simply because one, at one point I could not afford to buy the raw materials. So I started going into debt. Mm -hmm. I went into debt that uh, it was too much that um, one time my madam told me, my friend, what you're thinking of doing cannot be done here. <laughs> Not even this, just her alone, but a lot of people. So you were told here, you were the Kenya. Uh, nah. This mm -mm. is what you are doing. You know, Bezos. Exactly. <laughs> uh -huh. So it, it was a challenge for the longest time. And um, I found myself even now selling, shy locking things in the house wow. simply because I, I was just passionate about it. Mm -hmm. So one day, um, I, I, everyone comes home and find me and my table alone. I've sold everything. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you are this serious. Oh, yeah. People oh, yeah. thought you were crazy because where? <laughs> Actually, they thought of taking me for counseling. <laughs> <laughs> now we are on another level because oh, yeah. you are employed. I'm you're selling employed, things. I'm selling things. Everyone Nobody. is telling you this won't work in Kenya. I am in loans of one point something mm -hmm. to two million. And um, I kept on borrowing and borrowing and borrowing. And simply because I just felt it would work. Mm -hmm. And I tried to work out, you know, as I'm borrowing, I'm trying to put food on the table. And, I'm, you know, these are debts and they're piling up. And eventually when they mm -hmm. catch up with you, it's, it's nasty, you know. So when I was kicked out from the house I used to live in. Mm -hmm. And then because I lived in that house for about 10 years or so. And then I went to another area and then life became really, really, really tough for me. But mm -hmm. I thank God my perseverance and persistence um, paid off at one point. All right. Mm -hmm. So after the longest, hardest, hardest part, um, one day when now even the house I moved into, I was being kicked out. Um, my landlord comes and before he gets there, the damn thing works. Wow. Yes. <laughs> so voila, finally. Voila, black magic. It has come to <laughs> it be. It has come to be. So um, I had to also, you know, um, acquire a bit of other knowledge from different people, yeah. from different areas, because the components I was using at all different components okay mm -hmm. and this is something that's not been done here before okay. okay so you've told us about the journey but people are wondering what uh innovation is this so maybe explain to us uh, a bit on uh, the wi-fi vending machine how it's how it works so first let me start with the first one that flopped okay yes wow. so I, I i came up with this um, um decoder you remember when uh, kenya was moving from analog to digital to digital okay? yes so i i thought of coming up with uh, a digital uh, an analog uh, sorry a decoder but mm -hmm. the sim card enabled mm -hmm. <laughs> flop to beyond repair <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work it didn't work <laughs> but it kind of worked in a way but i it could not i had no capacity of scaling up mm -hmm. okay and that very time it was only go tv mm. if you buy other things from any other company it was frozen and I think you can remember that the media had it all covered. Yeah. And then I got into this. Now I decided, um, I sat down and asked myself, there's so much online opportunities. Uh, we have brilliant brains in this country. Uh, the biggest challenge they face is lack of employment, so they don't have funds to be able to go to school. So they cannot, I mean, in the end, they end up not being able to explore the online opportunities. So I sat down and I said to myself, how about... I reverse the whole thing because when you buy bundles from any telecommunication company of your choice, mm -hmm. you get usage based. Okay? Usage that based. Usage uh -huh. based. That's like when you load your bundles for 10 bob. Okay? Mm -hmm. Be before you know it's a short duration, it has depleted. All right? Yeah. So, so like as you can using, buy, uh, uh, let me get you straight. 
So you can buy like our bundles for 20 shillings for one hour, uh, maybe uh, as an example. Yes. And then uh, when I use it, it gets depleted in like 30 minutes because maybe I've been on Instagram, on YouTube. So yes. it depletes faster than, you know, the time that was allocated for it. Yeah. Okay. In most cases, it might even deplete before even you using it. Mm -hmm. Yes, simply because you find that the applications on your phone are updating so, mm -hmm. so it consumes faster, all right? Mm -hmm. And you find that this tembop is gold to a lot of youths outside there. Mm -hmm. We have youths who can barely live on, uh, can afford a dollar a day. And there are many. With the economy especially. Exactly, all right? Mm -hmm. So I started and I said to myself, if I can reverse the whole thing to be time-based, it can mm -hmm. be better. So I came up with a Wi-Fi vending machine that commercializes internet and offers time-based internet. Time-based. Time-based. Explain time-based. Now time-based is even it's even better because now when you with your ten bob, you can get internet for as low as uh, for as low as ten bob for sixty minutes. That's one hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. With your ten bob, all right. Mm -hmm. So within the uh, within the hour, one can browse, stream, socialize, do whatever you want, download your reading material, do it all. All right, mm -hmm. but in the event you feel like you want to leave the coverage because each intern each machine comes with an outdoor antenna that covers 100 meters radius, there's an option that allows you to pause the time, leave the coverage, come back even a year later, and continue with the remaining balance. Okay, yeah. this is interesting. Let me get you <laughs> again. Okay, uh, so <laughs> let me <laughs> take you back. Yeah. So I buy uh, uh, bundles I, with time. 10 shillings or time. Time-based, yes. Time-based bundles. Internet. internet. Yes. Okay. Time-based internet with yeah. 10 shillings yes. for one hour. Yes. That's 60 minutes. So in case I use it uh, for 30 minutes, yes. my other, th and I want to go away because it's uh, limited a to 100, 100 meters radius. 100 meters radius. Yes. So in case I want to, to leave, I pause, I go for one week, and then I come back, continue with my 30, uh, the remaining Come 30. back even a year later. A year later. Yes. And this internet is unlimited. So I can be streaming from YouTube, Netflix, Instagram, Do it everywhere. All. Do it all. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Remember, I'm not an ISP. ISP is internet service providers for the viewers who might not know what that means. Um, mm -hmm. So for one, to actually operate the machine, they require to outsource for internet for many ISP of their choice to, to commercialize it through the machine. Mm -hmm. Am I making it clear? Yes. Yes. Just like the current so, vending machines we have in the market, we have milk ATMs, mm -hmm. we have um, like wat water refill, water refill uh, 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 vending machines, Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. They don't come with the actual end product. Mm -hmm. All right? So I, with my product, uh, with the wife vending machine, you outsource for internet, then you commercialize it through it mm -hmm. and um, in a larger scale. So an example is that uh, I've bought this machine, so I need to go to an ISP, maybe Safaricom, Airtel, Telcom, and uh, source for internet. Yes. And then now I do the commercialization yes. from there on. Yes. All right. So, okay. So uh, after that, what happens? How do I make profit from this? Good. Now, first and foremost, um, I believe you've never gone an hour or two without checking your WhatsApp, right? Or your phone. Well, <laughs> I can't lie. Yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, and probably the biggest challenge you face, like maybe you're a rich gang, uh, you might have be able to afford the big bundles, uh -huh. but there are people who cannot afford that. Yeah. Remember, internet is quite addictive right now, mm -hmm. all right? Um, and second, um, a lot of people wish to be online 24 hours, but they can't. Yeah, and you know, uh, with the schools, there's a lot of e-learning going on, a lot too of much, businesses that are, you know, People are working online. Yes, yes. And you find that like the, the, with the COVID pandemic, a lot of youths have embraced the online opportunities. A mm -hmm. lot of them. And some of them do online transcriptions. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot online learning yeah. and they're really, really benefiting from it. Okay. So, you, uh, so this technology is making it easier for people. Way, way easier. Way, way easier. Affordable rate. And in fact, we take it, um, um, being a commercial machine is something that you take it to machine and level. Mm -hmm. All right. So they don't need to think of coming to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Where it's cheaper. Yeah, so no. they can access they can access it from there. From wherever they are. Yes, and the youth running the business can earn revenue from there. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So how do I make <coughs> profit from it uh, as the you know business person because I've bought this machine? Yes, it's affordable to the ones that I'm selling it to. Okay. But how do I make profit from it? Good. Uh, so the machine comes with a lot of amazing features that um, one will even allow you as the administrator. Mm -hmm to be able to monitor it remotely. Mm -hmm. By that I mean it comes with a web platform that will allow you to monitor it remotely. You'll be able to know the number of users using it remotely. You'll be able to know the revenue collected remotely. There's also a space for even running an advert 
that whenever anyone logs in, they see an advert running. So that's another channel of someone making revenue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, and many other features. Okay. Now, how do you make profit? We have already established that internet is the new oil. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, um, one machine can support up to 4,000 users within 100 meters radius at a go. 4,000 users? Yes. Wow. Okay. So if you do that into 10, Bob, 40K. Wow. Ah. An hour. An hour for 4,000 yes. users times yes. 10. That's huge. That's okay. huge. So you get around 40,000. That's 40,000? 40, An hour. An hour. Okay. Wow. So realistically, you might not get all these people at the same time. Fair mm -hmm. enough. All right. So again, as I said, um, the how you make profit will also depend with the capacity of internet you've outsourced for to resell through the machine. Mm -hmm. Am I making myself clear? Mm -hmm. Good. For, for instance, um, during my um, building this machine, mm -hmm. I learned a lot of challenges that people don't, uh, ISPs will never tell you. Okay? Whenever you buy, like for instance, you buy your internet for your house. I'm avoiding mentioning company names. I don't want to start war with them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, whenever you buy, say, example, your 5 Mbps, all right? Sometimes you find that maybe if you're two people or three people, you're streaming, and then a third person or fourth person start complaining, there's buffering or it is yeah. downtime and all that, mm -hmm. okay? Now, what people don't know is that internet acts very funny, okay? Whenever, like, uh, when I log into a heavy website like YouTube or, uh, or Instagram or something, mm -hmm. it pulls internet one side, all right? So you find that if we have one Mbps and I'm on YouTube, you might not be able to even send a simple email. No. Yes. Mm. Okay. So that is a challenge that I've realized. So there's what a feature that allows you as the administrator to set a download threshold that will allow you or help you to be able to stretch this one Mbps to be used by not only one person, but seven people. And it won't be slow. No. Simply because you'll be setting a download threshold that whoever is downloading, um, there's a certain speed they get equally and everyone will stream comfortably or rather enjoy the internet comfortably. Okay, so this yeah. is one of the packs that comes with it. Sure, yes. Okay. Yeah. So Quite now, if you have set a download threshold and you have uh, 5 Mbps, uh, so you're looking at 5 Mbps times 7. You're looking at 35 people. Mm -hmm. Okay? So if 35 people are giving you 10 bob, uh, th 10 bob, how much is that? 350 shillings. 350. Okay? Vis-a-vis mm -hmm. -vis not having the machine and you are serving 3. Mm. You see okay. now the math? Yes, yes, it makes a lot of sense. Yes. Well, this is quite interesting, but we'll take a short break and then we'll sure. get back to how this machine actually works. We'll do a practical, uh, you know, <laughs> a practical uh, lesson, if we can put it like that, because we want to see if this is real or is just, uh, you know, talk. So let's take a short break. Remember the question we are asking you today is, Ninini hiyo uki achieve utajo kweli? I've made it. Mimi Maisha, I'm done. I can, you know, Nikosa, I've achieved everything. Uh, the hashtag to use is Thursday Vibes at Y254. We'll be back shortly. Positive vibes, uh, that is the hashtag at Y254 channel. And the question you are asking you, Ni, what is that one thing uki achieve utajua kweli ume make it? Mimi akuna mtuwa you know? So talk to us, converse with us uh, across the social platforms. Meanwhile, uh, we are talking about technology and an interesting innovation. Clearly, this is it, the Wi-Fi vendor machine. All right, Bosco, well, before we get into this, what is that one thing that uki achieve utajua ume make it? If I give, or rather if... Um Okay, achieve that yeah. one thing that you're looking forward to achieve, and then when you achieve it, you know you have many women make it. If all the jobless youth in Africa at uh -huh. that place, that is, I would have made it. Ultimate that achievement. That is my ultimate goal. Ah, yes. amazing, amazing. So, okay, show us how it works. But before we start again, kuna option ingine ya kutumia since we are using the coins. Yes. Kuna option ingine ya kutumia like digital currency. Now that you know, someone might ask. Yes, yes, yes. Um, that is basically an impressive integration. Mm -hmm. yes, possibly, uh, it's very possible to do that. Okay. Yes. So, start. When you shake one here, and then you'll tell us about how Impressa would work. Great. So, just like the hotel for boots, when we wanted to make a call, you'd go in a coin and be able to make, mm -hmm. a, uh, make a call. So, more or less the same concept, but in this case, you have a coin in this booth, mm -hmm. and you get Wi Fi. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, as I said, it comes with an outdoor antenna that covers 100 meters radius. So, this is the outdoor antenna. Mm -hmm. um, um, each individual who logs into the Wi-Fi mm -hmm. um, 
the Wi-Fi is blocked with the MAC addresses of the devices, mm -hmm. okay? Meaning, it makes it a very suitable for the machine. In most cases, you find that people try to specialize internet. But whenever they log into the Wi-Fi, um, you find that uh, they're uh -huh. able to hotspot to share the internet. Okay, but let me let me stop you just for a little bit. I go to uh, see what people are saying on sure. the chat as we you know fix one or two things here. Uh, so, what are you guys saying about the question of today? Let's check it out. Swali ni 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 yoki achieve utajua kweli yani I have made it. I, nobody can tell me anything at this point. So let's see, let's see, let's see what you're saying. For me, I don't know. Uh, what is that one thing for me? What is that one thing for me? I think I would want to. Uh, hmm. Nini, si juu ata nataka nini? Niki achieve nini? I got. I think I would want to get a good house. A, you know, a castle, get good cars, but, you know, also empower people, uh, the youths out there who are looking for opportunities and looking to uh, find themselves in their career. So I think that is that. Nikifika, Nikifpata, I think I'll be good to go. As I check the comments, watch Mwendele Kutuma, and then we take a short break and we'll be back to sample some of the comments and to know how this device works. So let's take a short music break. Yes, yes, enjoying the music. Well, entertainment is about to come up in just a few. But uh, let's sample some of the comments that uh, you have written uh, on the question that to Muliza. What is that one thing eh, that to achieve with a jokeli who may make it? Uh, someone, uh, Sector Pato says, Good morning, Y254, show you coffee. Now I check you, Niki one to Lele, Supremo, Kinyozi, Dr. Angu, Nikona, Motobak, Nimajirium to Na Mimi, Nimajiro, Kwa Kinyozi, Nina Dai, Kuba, Ingine, Nijirium to Mwingine. Well, this is good. Uh, to not wish the best, uh, Selector. Kuna Zingine, Nimona, are very interesting. Mtu wa nika kuwa wa mke. Well, <laughs> kama yondo achievement feke yake, well, tunafa kukona na kando, tupata na inji attend. Uh, there's someone who says, when I become a pastor, when I start a business, uh, nikijiona kwa, kwa media house yoyote, nita kwa ni we make it. Someone says, having life all throughout. Well, it's the simple things for others. We appreciate that. So keep your comments coming in. Meanwhile, we have Bosco uh, telling us about this innovation that we have here, which is the Wi-Fi vendor machine and how it works. So clearly, as you can see, it, re it resembles the old telephone booths. When you have to talk English, okay, miss quite your error, but what you can English, I don't have to talk to Pay for new yes, English. Yeah. Okay. Yes, okay, so tell us, take us through this now. Okay, so the procedure of accessing internet, internet from this device or machine is quite quite simple. It's um, a user friendly system, um, with mean that with minimal training, any individual can actually run the business. You mm. don't need to have any um, IT background and all that. Okay. So I've done all the donkey work, and uh, yours is just plug and play. Plug and play. Plug and play. Right. Okay. So mm. I want us to jump into a live demo, mm -hmm. and I want to do it with your phone. Sure. Is that okay? Yeah, yes. Sure, so that uh, our audience can be able to uh -huh. see how actually it works. All right. Okay. So, so what, what do we'll I do, do mm -hmm. uh, switch on your Wi-Fi. I hope you can see this. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. I switch on my long Wi-Fi. Long press on the icon. I long press. Yeah, so that it gives the... you options of okay. the Wi-Fi is available. Uh -huh. What can you see? I can see Olax, LTE. I can see TP-Link. Uh, Click on TP-Link. TP-Link. Yes. All right. Uh -huh. Has it given you a pop-up or directed you to a different page? Uh, it's still loading. Okay. Obtaining IP address connected. Connected. Uh -huh. What has anything happened there? I tap here to sign into network. Yes, do that. So, okay. Sign into network, loading. Mm -hmm. So, actually, see you some other. Mm -hmm. yes, one does not require to download any app for this. So, it comes with an online app. Basically. Oh, okay. All so right. I don't need to download the app. So it no, says we don't space. need to. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So once you get to that page, mm -hmm. first thing you see is the adverts running. So you yes. can see photos. So that's mm -hmm. one area one can make actually earn revenue from. Mm -hmm. All right. So the if you adverts. scroll up, mm -hmm. there's different options mm -hmm. of insert coin and use wipers. All yes. Right? Okay. Insert coin is basically when you want to now access the machine or internet. Mm -hmm. And then wipers is Wi Fi password. 
Okay. Whereby you can generate passwords, customize them, print them, and sell them as credit. So is this for me the customer or for me the business person? You the customer. Okay. Yeah, the, the administrator has got his own back back end uh, support platform right. that allows him to customize and play around with all this. Mm -hmm. Or have in mind um, the ten the sixty minutes uh, for uh, for ten bob is mm -hmm. not cast on stone. It's not like that. So if one requires, mm -hmm. they feel like maybe the sixty minutes is too much mm -hmm. for for ten bob. Mm -hmm they can be able to reduce it. Okay. So the backend support has got full mandate or full authority to be able to play around with that. Okay. You can equally add one time or deduct time from them mm -hmm. if, if you feel that uh, it's, it's convenient for you. So the power lies with the administrator. Yes, sure. Mm -hmm. So I want us to access the, the internet. Mm -hmm. So click Insert Coin on your phone. Insert Coin. All right. All uh, right. Take any of them coins here. About to get free... Wi-Fi. Yes. Let me see. Inside there. Yes. Take your phone. Wow. Okay. I'll take another 10, one. 10. Uh, let me take 20 shillings. Yeah, it's that. Uh-huh. Wow. So for 30 shillings, 30, uh -huh. you have three hours of internet. Wow. Yeah. So click go nice. online the first one. Uh, go online. Yes. So three hours go online. Yes. Client has been connected successfully. All right. Mm, what are you connected. seeing? It has taken me back to uh, the Wi Fi uh, page. page. Okay, that's okay. Uh -huh. uh, so it's just funny. cancel and try and download, uh, play anything YouTube, Instagram, okay, whatever. Where do, we, where do we go? Let's go to Facebook uh, where you have your comments. <laughs> so, yes, it's actually working because my uh, bundles is off. So, this is just Wi Fi. Yeah, we can see the comments uh, coming up to become the biggest YouTuber. That is Peter. Okay, let's check YouTube to confirm because you know. I always believe YouTube is in some quality. Yes, YouTube is in some quality, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, aha, uh -huh. let, let's check something. Let me uh, Loading. Career Talk, Y244. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. It's actually loading. Uh, of course, the YouTube ads. Uh -huh. Loading. This is actually working. Skip ad. Uh, we have Ram Aguko right there on YouTube. So, and other things that are there. So, quite interesting. Thank you. <laughs> we have confirmed. <laughs> it is indeed <laughs> true. It works. Wow. This is interesting. So, um, how do I purchase this? If one wants to purchase this, and tell us what this is, right over here. Okay. Uh -huh. um, as I mentioned earlier, on, for one to run the business, one mm -hmm. requires to, after securing the machine, mm -hmm. you need to outsource for internet from any ISP of your choice to be able to resell. And this will entirely depend also with the region you are in mm -hmm. and available ISP. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, like for instance, uh, uh, let me use Zuku. Zuku is very strong in Nairobi, and other parts of the country they're not. Okay. Okay. So, you, depending with the ISP within your locality, you can be able to source for internet from them and be able to resell mm -hmm. through the machine. Now, this is an outdoor antenna again that covers 100 meters radius. Mm -hmm. It's a um, it's a dual band antenna. Uh, that would be a bit technical, but it can support uh, in layman's language. I'll probably use 2G, 3G, 4G. Okay. Yes. Ah. All, right? All right. Now, in this case, we're just using my small router here for demo purposes, mm -hmm. which is a source of internet. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is a smaller version just for demo purposes because it can fit in my bag. I can walk around with it comfortably. Mm -hmm. The standard size is double the size. Mm -hmm. uh, the machine retails at 55,000 one off. Okay. And uh, once you set it up, uh, you're able to, in a, I mean, you, we advise you, rather advise you on uh, the places you can set up the machine. Mm -hmm. For instance, I advise my clients to target uh, public universities, colleges, Yeah, because slums. you know, when you gave me this, when you said, uh, when I got to hear about this, I was thinking, I wish it had come when I was back in the university because I would have been, you know, quite rich by now. <laughs> <laughs> you so know how hard life is at yes, the if campus. Yes, if you can target places like that, like uh, the public hospitals, like most public hospitals don't have Wi-Fi. But then again, the population is extremely high. I'll give you an example. Uh, talk of Mamalusi Hospital. Mm -hmm. They see a thousand people walk in, walk out daily. Convert that into revenue. Uh -huh. wow. Then care day. Okay. Comfortably. Mm -hmm. How how much how how much uh, uh, okay how many people rather have bought this or how many employment opportunities have, has it created? Well, I have um, the 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 
the market response in the country is not as high as I'm expecting, as I'm getting from outside. Mm -hmm. I've gotten inquiries as far as Jamaica, mm -hmm. and I've sent five to Jamaica. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. We've got we have had clients who've came all the way from Uganda, Tanzania. Um, there's some guys who came from Nigeria. Uh, so the guys outside the country are responding well to this as opposed to here. So okay. in our country, you have not embraced it as much as not as the much as from yes. Other countries but have. there's what is now is interesting. You know, I'm, I'm currently um, um, in a partnership and a special SPC. That's a special company purpose. A purpose company has been formed, and we're looking now looking at now how we can be able to work with youths now across the country. They might not be able to purchase, but with this special purpose company, we will be looking at now giving them as like seed capital to be able to empower themselves with it. Mm -hmm. So youth, watch out. Wow, this sure. is good. It's yeah. coming now like say for free almost. All right, so where can they find you when you know this comes up and they want to be part of that? Um, uh, I'm assuming that would be the, the, the social media yes, and whatnot. Yes, yes. Handles, um, of okay, uh, I'm on Facebook, uh, mm -hmm. Sky Digital Striking. Um, Angel, I think I'm on Facebook alone. I don't know why Instagram, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm old school like that. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, my number, I can offer my, give my number as well. I'm, I'm always happy to respond to anyone, any day, any time. Okay. Uh, and I'm sure you guys are watched even across in different countries, right? Um, my number is 0721861010. And for the, the guys who are from outside the country, it's plus 254, then 721861010. Okay, but you know, before we, we, we leave, we want to know if I purchase this in Akujaje, like, uh, is it connected? Uh, if I'm if I want to buy it for you know my apartment in Akuja, Nahi, 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 and then I, I just buy the modem, or how does it work and the connection? Okay, just to answer that, um, you know, a lot of people assume um, that you can Wi Fi can work anywhere, mm -hmm. all right. This machine comes with an outdoor antenna, which, which means this, this antenna way. is an mm -hmm. outdoor. It's made for outside. Mm -hmm. We have indoor antennas, all right? Mm -hmm. So depending with where you want to set it up, I advise accordingly. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. If supervision or a survey needs to be done, I can do that as well. And I'll advise on what to do, okay? Mm -hmm. But if you secure this machine, it comes the machine plus the antenna and its adapter. The machine, the antenna, and its adapter. Its adapter. So what will I need to purchase extra, apart from the, uh, getting to the ISP? Since um, I might not be able to know the areas or the place you want to set up the machine, I advise my clients to outsource for Ethernet cables. These are the cables for connecting this, simply mm -hmm. because I've had clients who have uh, secured the machine and you find that they put the antenna like some meters away from the machine. Mm -hmm. All right? So that's distance. It's okay. difficult to predict that. Mm -hmm. So and and the Ethernet cables are what thirty bob per meter, in, right. so it's That's relatively expensive. affordable. Mm -hmm. So apart from that, uh, you'll need power and the internet to resell through it, and you're good to go. Okay, so at fifty five thousand one off, I make profits from it. You're good to go. Oh, FYI, uh, just for your information, um, the machine is equally certified by CAK. That is Communication, Communication Authority, Authority of, of Kenya. Kenya. Yes, so right. it's legit. So after my money is here, uh, there's a cado <laughs> behind this place. So you can and, open and, and collect. There. <laughs> so you collect it later on. Sure. All right. So thank you uh, for thank coming you. on board and sharing with us uh, your innovation. What would be your advice for the youth who want to be innovative, start something of their own, on their own? What would you say to them? Okay, um, I have two things for any individual, not just the youth. Mm -hmm. All right. First and foremost, um, it is okay to fail after trying, mm -hmm. but never fail to try. It's okay to fail after to to fail after try, but, but never, never fail to try, to try. Okay. because like that you you'd have never known what you could have achieved. Mm -hmm. All right. And second, don't listen to people. Mm -hmm. If you have that gut feeling that it can work, like for instance, a lot of people try to put me down, simply telling me this can't work. Yeah. I refuse to listen to them, and I realized later on they were only telling me their limit. Mm -hmm. Their own limitation. Their own limitation. Mm -hmm. That's their problem, not mine. Right. Yeah. So if you feel you can do it, go don't ahead. go, don't stop. And again, as I said, it's okay to fail after trying, mm -hmm. but never fail to try. Wow. Yes. What a good place to close. Thank you. It is okay to fail after trying, but never fail to try. That has been Bosco Somi, the founder and director of Sky Digital, uh, showing us the Wi-Fi vendor machines.
Uh, we come to a close of this, but on this particular conversation, but some great entertainment coming up with Val in just a little while. Uh, meanwhile, talk to us at uh, Y254. The hashtag is Thursday Vibes. The question to Dauliza Leoni: What is that one thing yenye uki achieve utajua umemake it? You're good to go. Talk to us. Uh, yeah, let's take a short break.